Today we're in the garden, bit of a change of scenery, and I wanted to make a highly requested recipe, which is jerk chicken. Now, traditional jerk chicken is made over coal using pimento wood, so the next best thing is a barbecue, and it can also be done inside as a worst case scenario, which I'll have details about in the description. As for this recipe though, we are going to be using chicken Marylands, which is the thigh piece connected to the drumstick. All I've done with this is just lightly scored it the whole way across. This is going to allow our jerk marinade to penetrate that meat and bring in the most beautiful flavor. So everything else in front of me is for the marinade. What we've done is got one red onion, small to medium size, sliced off both ends, slice it in half, peel it, and then just roughly chop. We're then going to need 10 to 12 spring onions or scallions. Just trim off the ends and then roughly chop as well. Pretty much the same size as the onion. It's all going in the blender anyway. What I have here is 10 sprigs of fresh thyme. You can leave the stems on, you can remove the leaves, it's up to you. I've left it all together and just roughly chopped. Traditionally, this recipe has scotch bonnet chilies. They can be quite hard to get and my grocery store only has habaneros. It is the next best thing to replicate it. And if you like chili, this recipe definitely is for you. And if you don't, it can be for you as well. You can use something a lot more mild. Last but not least, we need 10 grams or 0.2 ounces of ginger that I've peeled with a spoon. It's the best way to reduce waste. We also need six cloves of garlic and both of these can be ran along a microplane to create a paste. And you can also roughly chop them too. As far as the rest of the ingredients go, we've got one lime. We then need some soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, ground allspice, and of course oil and salt and pepper. Let's go straight into it. Now we're going to start this off by adding our spring onions or scallions into a blender. You can do this in a mortar and pestle if you wanted to, but you're going to be there all day because there is quite a lot of ingredients that go into this. Along with the spring onions, add in the red onion, the chopped thyme, all of the habaneros or scotch bonnets if you're using them, or a different type of chili if you wanted to make it less hot, the garlic and ginger paste, and the zest of one whole lime. I'm using the microplane the wrong way. I know someone's probably going to point it out. I'm also going to slice this in half and then squeeze in the juice. Make sure you do squeeze all of the juice in there though because the acidity does help tenderize the chicken and obviously extra flavor. Once you have that done, we can place on the lid and blend this down into a thick paste. If you are using a mortar and pestle, just go to town, use the elbow grease and break this all up. But make sure you do scrape the bowl down a few times because we don't want to leave any large chunks. What we do want to have though is something that looks like this. It's a beautiful blend of flavors and it smells fantastic. To increase the flavor even more, we're going to add one third of a cup of grapeseed or vegetable oil, three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, three teaspoons of ground allspice, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Then of course, just seasoning to taste. And I'm only using salt here, but you can also add a little bit of ground white pepper if you wanted to. Let's then place the lid back on and blend this up again. This time it's going to be a lot more runnier, hence adding all of those liquids. And make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl again and you should have a nice thick paste that's also pourable at this stage. And that is our jerk chicken marinade. What we can do now is place the chicken Marylands into a large mixing bowl. Make sure it is large though, because we want to have surface space to be able to mix everything together and add in all of that jerk marinade. Again, make sure you add it all in. We don't want to miss out on any of that flavor. Get in there with some gloves, some tongs, a spoon, whatever you need to do, and mix everything together until it's completely coated in all of that marinade. You can also add a little bit underneath the skin, inside those slices of the chicken. Then wrap the bowl up, and we're going to marinate this from anywhere between four hours up to 48 hours. The longer, the better for increased flavor. Now to get these cooking, I am using a barbecue. Like I said in the intro, traditionally it's cooked over coals. Some people don't have that, so barbecue is the next best thing. I'm going to add all of that chicken on there, reserve some of the marinade in the bowl, and we're going to place these skin side down and grill these for about eight to 10 minutes, just until you have those beautiful charred lines. We don't want this to be burnt, but we do want those nice dark grill marks on that skin. We can then flip these over, and we're going to baste the remaining marinade over the top. You can do this a couple of times, so you can reserve a little bit of the marinade again. It's up to you how you want to do it. And this time, we're going to cook them for another 10 minutes whilst flipping them over in the process every couple of minutes or so. And we want an internal temperature of 72 degrees Celsius or 161 degrees Fahrenheit if you're using a thermometer. But if you cook them for about 20 minutes, they will be perfectly cooked. With that done, remove them and place them onto a tray. You can cover them with a little bit of foil if you wanted to and let them rest for about five minutes just for that flavor to develop even more. Then we can place these onto a serving platter, however you want to do this. I just think it looks really cool on a platter like this. And I'm also serving this with some charred lime, which I'm sure you saw in the background whilst I was removing the chicken. That's just been grilled on that flesh side for about two minutes just to get those nice grill marks. Adds a nice flavor as well. And then garnish it with a little bit of green end spring onion or scallion. 
leaving us with our beautiful jerk chicken platter. It looks incredible, it smells amazing, and I cannot wait to taste it. And let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. So there we have it, my version of jerk chicken. It's a little bit more accessible and staying with traditional methods. I know traditional is cooked over coals, but I'm cooking on a barbecue. Most people do have one. And if you don't, you can cook it in the oven, which will have details in the description. Now I am using a habanero hot sauce that I made in a previous video just to drizzle over the top. If you're interested in that, I do have a link in the description. But with everything said and done, there is only one thing left to do, is of course, we can then dig in. <laughs> 